there is a foul committed with less than two minutes remaining in either half, the offended team can choose to have the game clock start on the snap if the clock normally would have been started on the ready for play. With under a minute to go in the game and the team on offense down by one with no timeouts, the quarterback throws a completed pass to number five who is downed at the nine yard line with two seconds remaining in the game. On the play, defensive player number 19 is flagged by the back judge for holding against offensive player number three prior to the pass being thrown. This appears to be the correct call as number 19 does take a step away from number 3 and continues to contact him to the point where number 3 pushes 19 away. The offensive team is obviously going to decline this penalty and take the result of the play. Previously, since the offensive team is out of timeouts, they would have to run to the line and be ready to snap the ball as soon as the referee blew the ball ready for play. Now, they have the option to have the clock start on the snap even if they decline the penalty since the defense committed a foul. Same situation with under a minute to go in the game and the offense losing by one. The quarterback hands off to number one who runs to the left side. Offensive player number three grabs and restricts number five at the point of attack and is correctly flagged by the line judge for holding. Number one runs out of bounds at the B45 with two seconds remaining in the game. The defense accepts a penalty and requests that the clock start on the ready for play. When the result of the play causes the clock to stop, at no point in high school football can the team request to start the clock or have the clock run. Sometimes we see officials confuse this rule and try to apply it both ways when in all reality, it only applies to keeping a clock stopped, never to start it.